Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. For today's message on April 25th, 2023, I'll be using the Intuition Oracle by Monty Farber and Amy Zerner. And there is the front of the box cover there. Really beautiful colors. I absolutely love this deck. I've been using this deck recently for reading, so I'm just going to continue because it's really calling me to use it. <clears throat> so today I already went ahead and shuffled and cut the deck. Now we're just releasing any negative energy that might be attached to the deck. Divine Guidance Spirit Guides, Peace, Love, and Light. <clears throat> this is a collective all signs reading, okay? This is all time, okay? So it, uh, time is fluid for these readings. Of course, I always, you know, men mention a day that I'm doing the reading. However, whenever you find this reading, it can apply to you at that time, okay? So time is fluid in the universe, right? Time is just a man-made construct, isn't it? All right, so what do we need to know as the collective humans here that are coming that find this video? What do we need to know? Spirit, 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 please give us a wonderful message today that we can reflect on <clears throat> and apply to our lives. All right, and here it is. Very interesting, beautiful card. Look at that. Look at all those warm colors oranges and red and yellows here today those colors really call out to me and i would like to you know encourage you to look into what color meanings might hold for you you know colors are vibrations right and and you know we can use colors to express ourselves in what you know we choose to wear every day it could reflect the mood that we're feeling in that day all right so i really encourage you to see where you can add color into your life to make you happier and more joyful okay and certainly go out and review your resources about what colors are trying to you know relate to you what additional messages are those colors holding for you all right and on the back of the card here is number 13 okay and like i say in every single video numerology really holds specific additional messages for us okay in our lives so i really encourage you to go out and you know investigate Thir the number 13. Are you seeing that, you know, repeating in your life? And, and how can you, you know, apply those messages that spirit wants you to know to your life, all right? And certainly one plus three equals four. So four could also hold an additional message for you. All right. So here it's the initiator is the focus of this card. And the affirmation is I overcome resistance and do what must be done now. Isn't that a very powerful message for all of us, you know, um, leading and living our lives as we do and, and knowing that, you know, we have to initiate action in order to alert the universe that we're serious about our goals and dreams and we would like to bring them into fruition into our 3D space, okay? So you got to initiate those action steps. So I'm going to go right into the booklet today. And I always love to read the booklet messages that these, you know, deck creators work so hard to put together. You know, of course, they're working really hard to bring you beautiful imagery on each and every card, as well as, you know, the verbiage here um, and, and um, what the card actually means and that. That. But please know that they also work very hard in, in the, you know, booklet messages as well. So I'm going to share that. And please know that, you know, anything that I would add on or, or pause and, and comment on, or those are intuitive messages coming to me. And those could be for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right. So the art of the matter. All right. So we're just... I'm just going to hold this up so we can kind of just focus on that art here today, okay? A man stands resolutely through fire appears to pour, though fire, excuse me, appears to pour down around him from on high. 
All right. He has waited long enough and has now decided to initiate his plan. He has no fear of the flames, for fire is the ancient symbol of the energy available to all of to all when we decide to take action. Isn't that interesting? So we have that capability within us, all right? That deep fire energy within us when we decide to take action and initiate those actions, right? You're being supported. This message is for you to let you know that you're being supported in your actions and being encouraged to take those, okay? His calm face belies the exhilaration he feels inside, okay? For he has overcome the natural tendency to do nothing but just wait and see exactly. So this is this rings true for every single person currently walking the earth is that you know, you can dream and wish and write things down and try to attract those things. But the key to that is the actual action steps. So we may waste a lot of time, maybe even years in this waiting, you know, in this waiting arena, all right, where we're, we're waiting and we're watching to see what happens when, you know, really we've kind of wasted our own time by just waiting to see when actually we should have been initiating action steps the whole time. But of course, that is okay too, because we have to go through these things in these trials and tribulations in life to learn the lessons of what we have to do, what changes we need to make in order, you know, to create the reality that we would like to create. All right. He has aligned himself, or excuse me, he has allied himself with the force that creates the entire universe in every moment. The excitement he feels now is his share of the energy of this great cosmic beginning. Are you starting something new? Were you afraid? Was something holding you back for a long time? Well, I'm here to say it's time to make those moves. It's time to stare fear in the face and say, sorry, you're not here. You're not going to win. You don't get to scare me. I might have some fear, but I'm doing it anyway, okay? He holds his sword, symbol of the idea that motivates his plan, but he holds it pointing downward, okay? The time for ideas has passed. Instead, he raises his left hand and his desire to get things moving is so intense that a flame leaps out into the strange night sky. It is, it is the very first spark that will set the whole plan into motion, right? Sometimes we just have to get started. And whatever that means, if that's fumbling through it, we just have to do it, okay? Sometimes all it takes is that first step to really build the confidence that we need to keep going, all right? All right, he holds his sword, the symbol of the idea that motivates his plan, all right? And, and I would encourage you to, to Really focus on what motivates you and your plan and to really focus on holding that sword and realizing what that motive is, all right? The flowers in the foreground of the scene are the result of actions taken in the past. Isn't that interesting? So when we plant those seeds, they begin to blossom, don't they? But we have to take that actual action of planting the seed. We can't wish those seeds into the ground, all right? We have to actually put them there. They stand before him with their beauty and beckon him to stop and smell them, right? To actually stop and recognize your fruitions and honor them and be grateful and thankful for everything that all your hard work has brought to you. Take the time to smell the flowers. Take the time to smell the roses, as they say, all right? However, he has decided that there is no time to waste waiting another moment. He stands upon ground, decorated in sharply contrasting stripes, symbolic of the duality of his situation. He is either beginning his work or he is not. And that is the question you need to ask yourself. 
Are you going to begin or aren't you? Okay, because doing nothing is actually a choice as well, isn't it? All right. At this time of initiation, everything appears either black or white with no gray to confuse and delay. It either is or it isn't. All right, you either are or you aren't. Okay, that's the perspective here. All right. Initiation also means the process of admitting someone, admitting someone to a club or rank of honor by virtue of their performing or sometimes enduring a predetermined ritual or series of meaningful actions that prove, that prove their worthiness to be a part of the group doing the initiating. Interesting. Are you currently in a group that has some fun initiation process or maybe not so fun initiation process? Well, you're being encouraged to participate in that so you can feel like a belonging within that group and, and to also take the steps to really prove to that group that you are serious about being involved, okay? In this case, the man had has had to go far outside the protective walls of his home. The flower-like stars that seem to be falling from the sky that is their own home give this scene a transcendent feeling that seems to say that what we are seeing is the most powerful of all initiations, okay? Here is an individual whose actions are taken to become more of himself. So really, long story short, this card is saying, take action. Do no longer sit in the dream state or the planning state. You've already done that. You already know what you want to do. This is your plan. Now it's time to initiate the plan. It's time to take the steps, okay? No more waiting, watching, and thinking about it. All right, time to do it, okay? The heart of the matter. You cannot make significant changes in your life if you cannot overcome your natural resistance to doing what you know has to be done. Sometimes we don't like what we have to do every day, okay? Or in pieces of the day, all right? But it is important that sometimes we have to just get those things we don't, you know, that aren't necessarily passionate for us and just, you know, the to-do list. Sometimes we just have to jump in and get it done, right? All right, and, and that resistance is actually, you know, procrastination is not your friend. It holds you back, okay? If you can initiate action to improve your situation in spite of any fears and insecurities, you will soon see positive results, all right? Just accomplishing it, will you will gain confidence immediately in the feeling of, you know, that you completed something, right? The completion of that. Fear of the unknown is the biggest obstacle to making a change, right? People don't like change necessarily, but let me tell you something here today. Fear is the only constant that is a guarantee. So the easier that you can be flexible and understanding and patient in the way things show up and showing up for yourself in your life, the better you'll be, all right? All right. However, you must have the confidence that you possess an innate ability to guide yourself on the proper course to achieve your desires, right? You have all the answers inside of you, okay? Your intuition could be screaming at you. The universe could be banging at your door for many, many years and on a certain topic that you've just kind of pushed to the wayside or procrastinated or about or had, you know, fear-based feelings about or or not feeling like you're good enough to do it. Well, this is your message today that you're absolutely good enough. You're being encouraged to pursue it. And now it's time to take the action in doing it. Okay. Indecisiveness is incompatible with initiation. It's time to make a decision and move forward. It's no more thinking on this. Okay. You, you need to be decisive, make the decision, and take the action and initiate that into your life, okay? You must not allow inertia or any other common obstacle to stop you from making the changes you know are essential, 
all right? So sometimes we have to put in the extra work. Sometimes we have to work our nine to five, 40 hours a week, and then work the weekend in our side gig just to make it happen, right? Just to put in the work, just to get it done because we have dreams of starting our own business and whatever that may be for you. So please know that all of that work you're putting in will have a result and to keep going. And sometimes we don't want to do it. And sometimes we just have to push through it and do it anyway, even if we don't want to. Okay, because consistency is where it is. Okay, that is the magic spot is being consistent each and every day doing something that leads you to your dreams and goals. All right. There is an urgency to this card. Interesting. Okay, you cannot wait any longer. All right. You procrastinated enough, right? Even though you may want to gather more information before you act, spirit is really saying you're actually ready. So jump right in. You must see your situation stripped bare of any elements that are not really important and make your decision based only on what is real and meaningful to you. That is right. Cut out all the stuff that doesn't mean anything anymore. Cut out all the stuff that you've been wasting your energy and attention on and just focus on what is most important to you, okay? This is a fantastic message. I just really enjoy this message. I think that it can apply to each and every one of us in something that we're doing in our life, all right? I really appreciate your time. I appreciate every single like, every single comment, every single subscribe and support. I appreciate you. Please keep them coming. Please subscribe for more. I appreciate all of your input. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and remember to please be a good human and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye-bye.